I just got a text from one of my friends who was asking about tethered shooting. And that's what I've been doing here. I've had um, a client in and we've been shooting um, uh, headshots. And I always uh, shoot tethered because when you shoot tethered, you take the image on the camera, the images are still stored on the cards that are in the camera, but you also get them going directly onto your computer. I happen to use a separate hard drive, um, but the image is stored here and on the hard drive, and you, most importantly, see it on the screen straight away, which is a huge deal because you can actually see whether the eyeball is completely tack sharp, which is what I like. I shoot with a shallow depth of field, so very important that the eye is, well, for me anyway, the eye is in focus. I don't really mind about the rest. In fact, I sometimes prefer it. So that's what I'm gonna show you so that you can see how I do this. Alrighty, when you plug your cable into the camera, I happen to be using a 5D Mark IV. This is the symbol I get. There's no settings on the camera uh, needed to be uh, set up at all. You plug the cable in. This is the, this little um, device that stops you accidentally pulling that cable out. You want one of those. Um, then it snakes around, gives me, I'm not sure how long this is, but it's long. I've never felt like I've needed more. Uh, the other end is plugged into the computer. So this end is a USB-C for this MacBook Pro. This end on the Mac, uh, on the um, Canon 5D is a USB 3. Um, plug those in. Camera is recognized. You know it's recognized because of that little symbol. And then on Lightroom, now I've already had the session, so there's my client there. But on the Lightroom, uh, file menu, you will find tethered capture. You slide across to start tethered capture. There are a few things you need to fill out. I was using session one, so it's I think it's automatically advanced to session two. I would name where I wanted those uh, images stored. They are stored on the camera cards as normal, but they're also stored on whatever hard drive you name. Now, I use an external hard drive, which is beautifully just tucked under there. So that's coming up and going into the other USB-C port. They've really thought things out well at Tether Tools. That's the logo if you're looking for it. Um, the the um, transfer drive is the name of the drive. Client's name, I have two folders in there. One is the Lightroom catalog file and one is the raw images choose that. I don't bother about anything else. Say okay. It detects the camera instantly and you can now, by the magic of science, either change the shutter speed here by clicking and moving around. I never do that. I always am holding my camera here. My thumb happens to be the shutter. Uh, and When I turn that dial, you will see the shutter changing. And the same is true of the aperture. That's my top finger up here. And when I move that, you see the, sh the aperture changing. So there you go, you can change the ISO. Actually, changing the ISO is quite easy here. So if you wanted to, you can just boom. And you've changed it, same with white balance, but I usually do it in the camera. And that is it. Once you are um, tethered, you've started your session, you can now um, take an image and you'll see it appear on the screen and I will show you that. Okay, so this happens to be a full um, tether tool set up, the tripod, the table and everything. You don't need this. What you need uh, is this cable. And I would strongly recommend that you invest in these little um, anchors that stop you accidentally pulling the tethered cable out of the camera. Done that in the middle of a session, not cool. Um, kind of breaks your contact with the subject, which is not very good. I've just set up my drum here um, where uh, Rihanna was sitting and I'm going to photograph it so that you can see, hopefully, I've positioned this so you can see the image appear.
here on the computer as I'm taping. So I'll just come around here with my tether and I will take this shot so you can see what I get. There's the beautiful drum. And uh, hopefully you saw that appear and then um, there it is. Gorgeous, uh, beautiful image. And you can now, of course, use all of the tools within um, Lightroom to adjust exposure and highlights and shadows and everything else in real time. So you can see whether you're getting the focus that you want. And of course, I was, that's where I was focusing. So there we go. That is technical.